Hey, welcome back to Greg's Maker Corner. In this video, I'm going to be talking about something very exciting, the LDO Motors Voron Trident Kit. Uh, this, is some, this is a project that right after MRF um, ended up uh, arriving at my house, so I'm very excited to review it. I've got a couple different Vorons. Uh, this is an LDO Voron Zero uh, that I built and I feature on my channel. Um, I've also built a Voron 2.4. That was just a, a kit from West 3D, which was also really good. And uh, I wanted to try the LDO kit from for the Trident. I, I think it's uh, LDO has some really great quality stuff, and I really like that they include everything. This is a multi-part series, so I am going to be covering the unboxing in this video. I got ahead and take the boxes out of the main box, and this is what was packed in it along with some insulation. One caveat as I go through this is that what you're going to see uh, may change and likely will change. So keep that in mind when you're considering a kit. So you can just see how well this is packed. There's some good insulation material. And what we've got in here are basically the panels. And by the way, this is a 300 millimeter kit. All right, so moving on, we'll go ahead and get this back box unpacked. What you see here is some really nice bubble wrapped um, acrylic. And these, you can see that everything has been pre-cut. So here's the back. And you can see that there's also the backing of the paper on it. Let's take out the packing material. This is all pretty tightly packed here. Um, one of the first things that I see is the uh, contents. So this is an LDO VTD 300 kit by LDO, LDO Motors Revision A. And then it's got a listing of all the items as well as the quantities included. There is quite a bit in here, three full pages of materials. There's some heat sinks, some Wago connectors. I, I really like using these. Um, they make it easy to disconnect and connect your wiring. There's an AC inlet. This is for mounting on your DIN rails. Here's an SSR for the, it's a, a nice Omron SSR for your heated bed, Ethernet uh, uh, connector. And then we've got a memory card, 16 gigabytes. This is the screen. Okay, it's a 4.3 inch capacitive touch screen. That's cool. All right, now the electronics two of two. So here we have the Voron, Voron Trident PCBs. This is really nice. Um, within here, there are the, the tool head PCB, which is fantastic. Uh, it helps keep your wires nice and tidy. There's an XYN stop PCB at breakout, and I believe that's for the other side. So when you run under, your, uh, <clears throat> under the machine, you've got an end stop, you've got some splicing PCBs, and an octopus power adapter PCB. So right there in the bag that's pretty nifty a roll of tape here I believe these are going to be used for some of the AC connections um, oh this is cool so clicky is definitely um, like a non-essential mod but it's a uh, it's pretty cool um, and allows you to do your your auto Z leveling as opposed to using a sensor which is more stock We've got an input shaper toolkit. Wow, that's pretty neat. Another kind of a Gucci uh, mod. So this will allow you to um, easily tune input shaper. And there's there's a couple different ways to do that, but it's it's an ADXL sensor, and you're gonna it looks like you can mount it to your hot end pretty easily. And then of course all of our big tree tech stepper motors. There are six of them. I just happened to notice this dragon hot end was floating around in here. Um, I do not believe that. The Dragon hot end or any hot end will be included in the production kits. So just something to be aware of. But I have one of these on one of my Voron Zero Ones, and they're really good hot ends. Of course, we've got your standard power cord. These are going to be used for the DIN mountings. There's also some sleeve here for the wiring and some track. This is the channel that you're going to be able to run your wires through. I really like doing this, and I, I added some of this to my Voron 2.4. And here we've got one of my favorite boards that I've done quite a bit of content on, which is the Big Tree Tech Octopus board. And uh, I don't see a rubber ducky in there, so I don't know why it wouldn't come with one, but or maybe it's hiding, I don't know. But uh, anyway, this is a great board. This will probably be the fifth machine that I've used this board on. I don't believe this is the pro version, and that's fine, because uh, the regular version is sufficient, and we're only gonna be running 24 volts through it. If you are gonna run a higher voltage, then you might wanna look at the pro version. We've got the uh, Voron Trident Kit Motion box. And we've got some foam tape, three millimeters as well as one millimeter. 
Uh, we've got a little PTFE tube in yeah, 80 grit sandpaper. These are the Bontech gear parts. It does look like they're Bontech original, which is really nice because sometimes you have problems with the clones. And we've got some couplings. We've got a little tension knob here. Got some pulleys. Lots of uh, bearings. Some small bearings. Um, an idler. And this little squared off shaft here. And another pulley. And some, yeah, these are some grub screws with Loctite, which is really nice. You're going to need Loctite on there. And we've got some NSK GE5C104 bearings. A couple boxes of those. I believe, I'm guessing probably once the production kits are done, these will all be labeled as well. So they'll probably be a little bit easier to figure out what's what. Here we've got the belts, chains, and fans. We've got, yeah, nice, uh, looks like genuine Gates belts. Which are very nice, the power grip. We've also got the Nevermore. Wow, cool. Nevermore version 5. So that's a, a really nice uh, add-on that's not part of the stock. We've also got some of the newer style feet, which I like. Um, and some GDS time brushless DC fans. They're already, looks like they're already wired together. So these are, I believe, are twenty going to be 24 volt. Yep. So the, I found those GDS time fans to be pretty good. Uh, we've also got some brushless 24-volt uh, fan. It's going to be for the hot-end fan, I believe. And then this is the blower for the part cooling fan. Also, GDS time, 24-volt. And then you can see here we've got the cable chain. And we've got a brass brush, probably to wipe off the, the hot-end, the gunk off the hot-end nozzle. Here's the cable kit. And then here we've got the tool head cables. There's, there's quite a bit in here. It looks like it's some really nice uh, wire. Got the Ethernet cable, a ZN stop cable, and so on. LED strips, thermistors, touch display. And all these are, looks like they're all labeled, which is really cool. Makes it a lot easier to find the cables. So pre-labeled everything. Here's the part fan cable, so all this stuff is going to go part of the breakout. And then we've got the power cable. So this is the inlet to terminal, terminal to 24 volt and so on. Heated bed. Tool head cables really help keep your printer organized and make wiring, running the wire very simple. A lot simpler than what it would normally be if you were to crimp it individually. So this is where you get a lot of your time savings with these kits. All right, I went ahead and opened this box. It was not labeled, but this is, these are basically the backers for inserting the rails into the extrusions. And you've got your some really nice LDO rails here. These look to be very similar in terms of style to the uh, LDO Voron Zero kit. And these are uh, these are just look like really good quality. There doesn't seem to be a lot of oil on them, and they do appear to be stainless. Okay, and here we have some of the motors. So there are three lead screws here, lead screw motors with uh, integrated lead screws. And they also have the uh, the nut on them. And that appears to be Delrin. And it's on all three of them. And here is the quality Meanwell power supply. And this is an LRS 224. And make sure that you select the right voltage for your power supply. There we go, I just flipped mine over to 115. And then uh, plenty of connections here. And since we're, we've got an AC bed, 200 is plenty. And now we've got our motor kit. So this is the V12 HT. So it includes, uh, this is what we're gonna be using for our AB motors, as well as our, I believe the extruder motor, this thin one here, pancake motor. I'll go ahead and open the fastener kit. Here's some tubing, PTFE. It includes some PET-G filament. Uh, we've got some zip ties. Uh, magnets as well as a lot of these little uh, drop-in or, or rotate-in D-nuts and those appear to be for M5 size and here's a bag of various uh, black screws okay we've got some M3 90 of them M3 T-nuts 
And then we've got a fairly heavy bag of additional M3 uh, hex nuts and different uh, different sizes here. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you get all your tools that you need to put all this stuff in, as well as a heat insert tool, which is really nice. So you can use this to drop these heat inserts in. We've also got some nice handles. I assume these are probably for the door. And uh, looks like some lock nuts and some washers. The heat inserts you need are also included in here. I kind of uh, glossed over those. And we're wrapping up our unboxing here, and now I've got the 300 millimeter build plate. And a nice uh, textured plate here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we've got the texture plate, and the reverse of that is a smooth PEI sheet. We've got a very thick and nice magnetic pad, 3M. Uh, we've also got a aluminum sheet here that's been drilled. You can see the different spots for the drilling. It's also got a protective coating on it, which is great. We got an LDO motor pad, 600 watt from edge to edge, which is really nice. There's also a thermal fuse protector here. So if you go over probably 125C, it's going to blow that fuse and then it'll stop uh, uh, heating it as a safety precaution. We've also got this side, so plenty of room. Looks like the, the drill outs are really nice. Yeah, I can't wait to pull this off and stick my magnetic sheet to it. And last but certainly not least are the extrusions. And this is a, these are pretty tall extrusions here. Okay, and I went ahead and taken out one of the extrusions just so you can get an idea. This is the space gray finish. It's a little hard to tell with my lighting, but it's a really slick gray. Um, and it's also, all the extrusions are pre-drilled pre and also pre-tapped where, where they're needed. Very nice. So I think they've done a really nice job here with this kit after just doing a basic unboxing. It seems like um, everything, I didn't go through the, all the detail, but uh, everything that was supposed to be in here was. And uh, I'm really looking forward to putting this build together. So you may be wondering some of my rationale for building a Voron Trident and why I want to add that to my collection since I already have several Vorons. Well, the reason's uh, more than just trying to collect them all, although that, that is definitely fun too. But um, I, I really do like the Voron ecosystem, and I think there's obviously differences between each Voron machine. So the 0.1 is, is great for small parts, uh, very fast, fast to heat up. The 2.4 is also a great machine. It has a flying gantry, so it's, it's definitely a fast machine. One of the reasons that I'm looking forward to building a Voron Trident is to have a tool changer a lot easier to a trident versus a, a 2.4 as the gantry on the 2.4 is moving around up and down. Whereas on the uh, Voron trident, everything is fixed. The gantry is pretty much uh, going to stay in one vertical position while the bed is going to move up and down. So I hope this is giving you a good idea of what's in the review kit. And remember, this is a review kit. So there are a lot of parts that are likely to change or at least be tweaked. And some parts like the pie and the hot end will most likely not be included in the retail. Um, speaking of the retail version, as of the filming of this video, it's not quite ready yet. When will it be available? I think I believe there are some sites that are already taking pre-orders for the tri LDO Trident kits. Uh, make sure that you look into that, and I'll list a you know some of my favorite Voron Discord vendors in the description. So be sure to check that out. So stay tuned for uh, the build videos and just some of the highlights that I'm going to, put in, to be putting together. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow my content. Thanks a lot for watching.